Hello everyone. I figured we would break down. Um, I see a lot of people with gift envelopes. I am bringing my gift envelope back in next year in January. But I figured we'd do a quick breakdown as far as for what people use gift envelopes for. What I use my gift envelope for is usually birthdays, anniversaries, um, you know, like dinners for like anniversary dinners or birthday dinners, you know, that kind of stuff. So how I break mine down is there's eight people that I buy um, a birthday gift for. So, and that's including my three sons, my two daughter-in-laws, my husband, and my two sisters. So that is eight people. And it usually breaks down to about $25 per person. So that's just for birthdays. So that would come out to $200 in birthday money for, for eight people. All right, then you have anniversaries. Anniversaries only consist of three, which is my oldest son and daughter-in-law, my youngest son and daughter-in-law, and mine and my husband's. So, yeah, I do budget for me and my husband because sometimes we'll just get dinner or, you know, we'll just, like, go and just buy a little small thing for, for each of us for our anniversary. So that's only, like, three anniversaries, and you times that by $50, and that's going to come out to $150 for anniversaries. Then we have dinners, okay? We do sometimes, um, not, it's not every year, but we do, we'll do dinner for like a birthday or we'll do dinner for like an anniversary. So, um, normally that, that would come out to for like three, if we do three anniversaries, we will do like a hundred dollars for a couple for dinner. We times that by three, and then that will come out to three hundred dollars. There, and then we have miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is if you know for tips if you go out to dinner or you order dinner in, and the person who brings the dinner or the person that make you know does your dinner and you go pick it up, you know you want to send them a tip, so you give them you know money out of that. So I mark that miscellaneous because you're not going to use it all the time for tips miscellaneous we'll see if you're in a store and you see like a cute little gift that you know somebody in your family is going to like you know i would take that from that uh, miscellaneous there so miscellaneous we're only going to do about fifty dollars for miscellaneous and that's just you know either a gift or a tip or whatever you want to use that $50 in miscellaneous for. So we're going to add this up. It should come to $700. We, we'll do here, we got 200 plus 150 plus 300 plus 50 comes to $700. Okay. So we have $700. Now that $700, we're going to go down here and go $700 and we're going to divide that by 11 months. Okay, so we have, put that there, 700 divided by 11, well we could do 12 months, so let's do because money's going to, when you put money in for gifts and stuff, money's going to keep coming in and out because birthdays and anniversaries are all d different months. So we'll go 12 months. So we'll go 700 divided by 12. Breaks down to, say, $59 a month. So that's $59 monthly. I did that wrong. <laughs> yeah. Not seven hundred dollars divide divided by fifty nine. No. <laughs> All right. Divided by twelve, which will equal 
it comes to $58.33, so it would just go $59, and that would be monthly. Okay, now you'll take the $59 monthly, all right, and you'll divide that by four weeks in a month, which will come out to, we'll just say $15 a week. So we will go $59 divided by four weeks will equal to, we'll just say $15 a week, and then we'll just put weekly here. It would all go, it, it'll be how many people in your family that you, you know, buy birthday gifts for, or you do birthdays, you do anniversaries, or you just do dinners. Um, you would take that number by the amount of what you would give them for a birthday gift or an anniversary gift, and then you would divide that by the amount of um, people that you would be giving money to or gift card or however you do it. But I break this down because I have eight people that I buy for as far as birthdays and anniversaries go. So, and there's only three anniversaries that I have to, um, that I have to buy for. Um, my parents are passed on, so there's no, um, I don't have to worry about birthday or anniversary gifts um, because they passed on a long time ago. When they were alive, yes, I did buy, buy them both anniversary gifts. I did buy them uh, birthday gifts. Uh, my father was a big, he liked lottery scratch-offs. So he used to he used to love getting the lottery scratch offs for his birthday, or you know at Christmas time you know things like that. Um, he passed away in uh, 2000, and then my mother he had a heart attack and he passed away, and my mother um, she passed away four years later from um, it's some people who are a nurse might know what this is. She had Milo's myelodysplastic syndrome, which was a blood disorder, and she had passed away from that in 2004. So I lost both of my parents within four years of each other, and uh, it was it was hard. So um, I come from a family of six. I am the youngest of six, and. Um, I have two sisters, but I also have three brothers, so, but, all right, I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> Sorry if I ramble too much, but this is what my breakdown is for gifts, so, you know, I have eight people, $25 a person, coming up to 200 anniversaries, I only have three, so $50 a couple for 150 and if we decide to do dinners for like anniversary or birthday, I times that by three, and um, it would be $300, and then for miscellaneous, for any extra added things that you, you know, want to get, then I put like $50. So this is the breakdown of the, um, for the gifts. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the YouTube family. If you go out, please stay safe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.